Hey everyone, well, I'm gonna to share today with you all about vendor events and how fun they are. Oh my gosh, I think probably the, maybe 75% of my national area, my unit was built on a lot of vendor events. And you know, when we had the pandemic, we've kind of shut down. So as we're opening up, let's just talk about vendor events, where you can find them and what to do. Now, I did a special video already, so please check out my um, section on virtual resources and how to set one up and what it should look like and what to wear and backdrops and all that. This is different. This is where to find them. So let's talk about some of the most successful vendor events that I have done. First off, I think bridal events are great. Um, they are a little expensive sometimes. They're a little bit pricey. And it really just remember, uh, it just depends on how you roll it out. Some of them are smaller and more intimate. So that's one vendor, vendor event you guys can do. I love women's expos and business expos and career fairs. I love those more because people are coming to look for those opportunities. And so those are some things that I look for too. But I'm always scrolling through to find amazing, unique events. So let me take you through a couple of places where to look. Um, and if you're not sure what to say or how to call them, let me do that with you on the phone. I'm patching people on three-way conversations all the time. Or your director can do that with you also too. But vendor events are fun. I kind of stay away sometimes from the festivals, the downtown festivals. I really want to try and be more on the upscale with a lot of those things. But the, some of the local festivals are good. It's just I'm looking for a certain type of people. And I, I don't know. I think... You have to weigh that out. There's pros and cons to all of that, too. So I really look for things like career fairs, job fairs, events that are really great, um, bridal events, expos, those kinds of fun things. So let me just show you first where I get these. Um, if you've got a phone or a tablet, I want you to download an app or a, a site for you, and it's called Eventbrite. Now, let me just screen share with you a little bit about what this looks like so that you can kind of see what I'm talking about. This is where I found probably 95% of all my events I've ever done in Europe and I'm here. So first off, this is the name of the, um, the download or the site. It's called Eventbrite. It's B-R-I-T-E. So some of you might have been able to find it because it's a bright, Eventbrite. And so you can type in all kinds of stuff. So let's just, uh, I typed in popular events in Dallas. And of course, a million things pop up and I kind of want to narrow it down a little bit. So you can do charities, which is great because that way you can do like, here's a Mother Day portrait party. You could do a donation of charcoal mask to everybody. So that might be something for you today, this weekend, Mother's Day free, all those kinds of things. So let's look on here. Let's type in career Dallas. How about women's events in Dallas? So you're going to type in a search box, women's events, wherever you live. And I'm going to type in women's events in Dallas. And these are all the women's events that are coming up. And I'm going to kind of scroll through here. And oh my gosh, this just popped up. And I'm like, wow, what is this? Dallas Women's Expo Beauty Fashion and Pop-Up Shops. Um, so let's click and see what this is. Now, I'll often call and see if Mary Kay is there. Now, we do kind of have an unwritten rule. If there's a Mary Kay booth there, then that's it. We don't want to compete with each other. So if Mary Kay is already there. Go find another event to do. Okay. So I'm just going to say that little disclosure there. So here's what's coming up. Um, it is, um, you know, around the corner here. It's so that you can, you know, we can find out a little bit about it. So I'm going to go to click in here and I'm going to go find out. I'm going to call them and I'm going to find a little bit more about these. Now, this is a two day event. So I know there's going to be a lot of people. So that would be something that you definitely want to do. Women's Expos, um, Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, there's different things you can do. You can also type in charities. You can type in all different kinds of things. I'm trying to see if I can go back to the beginning of it. Here we go. Here's the filters of many of it too. So Eventbrite on the filters, you guys can search for anything. And, you know, that's the fun thing about this. And it's not just in Dallas. Like you can check out, like go back to the beginning of Eventbrite and maybe see um, other things that are going on with Eventbrite in different areas. So I might put in here um, Iowa. And I'm going to go find out what's going on, not Iowa Park, Iowa, USA. So I'm going to find out what's going on in Iowa, maybe this weekend, Mother's Day, music, food, drink. How about some charities? What's going on in the charity section? Could I do some donations there? What could I do with that? And so these are some different things. I always call to see what's going on, what it is. There's usually a little bit of a cost, which is okay. So once we get the event, and let's say it's a two-day event, and it's like six hours one day and six hours the other day. I usually have like two consultants work two to four hours a shift and um, you get to keep the names and you work all that out ahead of time. And that's on that 
other video. This is just where to find. It. So Eventbrite is a really good place to go and find events. Okay. So I just want to say, be on Eventbrite and look for things in different areas. Um, you could look for, you can type in the word networking. That's always a good thing. Women's events. That's always a good thing. Business events. Great. I also look for career fairs and job fairs. Those are really good also too in the tab. So that might be something that you want to type in the tab. Then another place I find a lot of stuff is good old Facebook. And we love good old Facebook. It has a ton of stuff on there for us. So let's talk about Facebook. Um, I typed in here beauty events in Dallas. I don't know if you can see it in the search up there, but it says beauty events in Dallas. And this is what popped up. Pop-up shop at the Girl Cave LA Dallas Beauty Supply. I don't know what that is, but I'll go poke around and see what it is, if it's something that I could do. Uh, beauty birth, forget what you heard. Uh, beauty and the Beast, no. Beauty and Color, Yoga Brunch. I don't know. I might go through here and just find some different things, or I might do uh, networking. So let's just type in um, women's, I can spell and type at the same time as women's networking. Oops. And women's networking Dallas. So I might want to spell that right too. So there we go. See, everybody can do this. All right. So now I'm going to type in women's networking in Dallas. And there may not be anything up there, but there might. Um, Lean in Dallas Network. Not sure what that is. But um, here's e Women Network, Dallas Women Entrepreneurs. Hmm. I might be interested in finding out more about that. Dallas Women's Virtual Speed Networking Happy Hour. So Dallas Professional Women's. Oh, definitely going to join this one. So these are some different things that are going on. And you can use Facebook also, too. So I would always check event. Now, if you find an event, you're not sure. It's like, is this a good one, Janice? Or should we not connect with your director or myself? And we can walk you through those and we can check those out with you. That's really simple and super easy to do. But I just want to say Eventbrite's really good for finding out events going on everywhere. So if you have, you're building a team in another location, that's always a great thing. So look for bridal, beauty, uh, women's expos, networking, career fairs, job fairs, look on Facebook, and Eventbrite. I keep the Eventbrite tab on my phone and on my tablet. And so wherever I'm traveling, I kind of look for what's going on in the area. And you know, that one that's coming up is even four months out, but you know, that's okay because four months out, you know, you're going to have different people working it. And so Please make sure you go on to my virtual resources on my website, thegratitudearea.pink, and check out how to set it up. Um, I'm also going to do another one to this is now that we've got the booth and we've got all these leads, what do we do with them? What do we say to those people? What do we text? How do we get them booked? And so that's another one. So anyway, I hope this was helpful for you today just to learn about where you can find these great and amazing events. And as we open up as a country, I think it's great to be back out there. You're going to need a beauty coat, some T-shirts, a black skirt, some of those things. That's on the other video also, too. So I hope this helps. Get the event right tab. Check out Facebook. Write down all the possibilities. And it's a great way to build your team and a great way to get you started. Okay, I hope that helps.